Hi, I'm Georgia Woods and welcome to Go Fly Online. Today we're going to be looking at how to operate a transponder. So, what is a transponder? Transponder is a piece of radio equipment in the aircraft that picks up and automatically responds to an incoming signal. Also, the pilot can input various codes which ATC can view and track. The code that the pilot inputs is either a generic code, one given directly from ATC, or can be an internationally recognised emergency code. Some aircraft also have installed a device known as a TCAS or a Traffic Collision Avoidance System. A TCAS uses a nearby aircraft transponder to alert the crew of its rough position and to avoid a possible collision. The Visual Flight Rules Guide, or VFRG, has information on transponder operation. This can be found by going to General and Radar Transponders, Transponder Operation. There are many different types of transponders, however they all operate in the same way. The two types of transponders we currently use in Australia are Mode C and Mode S transponders. Mode C transponder allows air traffic control to see the aircraft position and height automatically and allows TCAS to determine the rough position and height also. Mode S transponders relay position and height and allow data exchange that usually contains information such as the aircraft type and registration and ground speed. Here we have a standard Mode C transponder. It has an on and off switch, standby and out. It also has a frequency select now and an ident button. An ident button is used by air traffic control to identify an aircraft on their radar. For instance, they may have two aircraft showing on their radar screen and cannot identify which one is your aircraft. By asking you to push the ident button, it will send a signal to their radar confirming which blip on their screen is you. It is important to have the transponder on standby when changing frequency and while taxing so you do not confuse air traffic control while taxing on the ground. Just prior to takeoff, you can select ALT, which gives the controller your altitude information. It is important you have a general idea of transponder codes. In Australia, in Class Golf or non-controlled airspace, it should be set to 1200 for VFR aircraft. Other codes you should remember are 7600 for communication failure, 7700 for emergencies such as an engine failure. Let's look at the operation on the transponder. We have it set to 1200 and this is a frequency for outside controlled airspace. Let's assume we have asked for clearance and the controller wants us to select a frequency of 1367. We would simply go to the transponder, put it on standby, select the frequency, then back onto mode S or ALT for a mode C transponder. If the controller is still having issues trying to identify you, they may ask you to squawk IDENT. And in this case, you just press the IDENT button. Once you have left controlled airspace, it is important to go to standby on the transponder and return to the code 1200, then back to mode S or mode C. If you have any more questions in relation to transponder operation for your particular aircraft, please see the manual for that particular transponder or your flight instructor. Thanks for joining us today. If you like our videos, subscribe to GoFlyOnline or our YouTube channel. Happy and safe flying and see you next time on GoFlyOnline.